Spotify stock jumps after Apple relaxes its App Store tax, but is a windfall ahead. What would you say? Uh, I'd well, first of all, let's, let's look at what that means. So Apple has a you know a hefty fee that uh, App Store developers and people like Spotify would be giving uh, Apple for transactions. Mm-hmm. Um, now, when they, they lifted this, there was a big lawsuit over it. Uh, it was a $100 million class action settlement involving developers netting lower than $1 million in revenues annually, uh, which was blasted as insufficient by Spotify. So mm-hmm. essentially what this means, why did the stock jump up? Because now more money would flow directly to Spotify. Mm-hmm. Uh, and when more money flows directly to them, they have more money to expand, to do more exclusive podcast deals, mm-hmm. do more exclusive artist deals, mm-hmm. like all that stuff. That's why the, that's the thinking behind it. So right. that's the good news, which would make investors make that jump up 7% in a day. Yeah. Uh, for a stock, that's, that's a lot of percent in a day. Mm-hmm. Um, so long term, um, I'm still not crazy bullish on Spotify, uh, given what we talked about with other apps. So Audius in particular, Mm -hmm. uh, like you can make an argument that Audius still needs to work on its like tokenomics or Mm -hmm. like that, their their whole system. But just the idea of listeners getting a benefit from the platform. Like when I go to Spotify, I'm just, I'm paying my 10 bucks a month. And I get it. I get the content that I paid for, right? right? But if I could own a part of that platform mm-hmm. just by using it, not by buying into Spotify stock, right? Uh, but just by using the platform, like with Audius, then that's that's still good incentive for oh, people yeah. to hop over and like use their platform. So 100%. Audius is still doing the I think it's the top five tracks of the week and top five playlists of the week mm-hmm. get a hundred uh, audio tokens. Drop wow. into their account, um, and it would be why I like transact with artists through Rally because I can go get those weekly rewards, mm-hmm. right? Just by transacting on their their chain, I can get paid some dividends. Yeah. So why wouldn't I go do that? Right. Um, with Spotify, I don't believe I'm pretty sure they're not a dividend paying stock. Um, so really, all you're you're getting that intrinsic value from from you know, being part owner of it. Uh, so it, since its inception, it still has gone up in, in value, right. but not as much as people think it, it should be going. Up. Right, right, so, right, 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 right. Uh, I'm, it is, I'll just say that it is not in my personal portfolio. Mm-hmm. That, that is what I'll say yeah. about Spotify. Um, that's 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 another reason why we've always advised that people do like no more than about twenty percent of your marketing spend whenever you guys order promotion through us or the Spotify promotion or like the YouTube Instagram ads management and mm-hmm. Um We still have it, that's our advice to people. Yes. Uh, some people follow that, some people don't. Mm-hmm. It's up to you guys. But we typically say like I I wouldn't spend more than like twenty percent of my budget on Spotify, and this is like what we do. <laughs> right. Uh, so. Like twenty five percent, maybe yeah. the rest of that. You know, YouTube is still superior mm-hmm. um, for for a lot of reasons. So we've always advised you guys to spend a little bit more on YouTube. And if Spotify is really working for you, mm-hmm. um, like it's really working for some folks, then yeah, you can spend a little bit more on the marketing. But more times than not, YouTube has better targeting, better location uh, targeting, more analytics that you get to see. Uh, so does Facebook and Instagram. So. They, they just have Spotify beat on that front. Mm-hmm. Um, now, the beautiful thing about our business is that we just kind of get to hop wherever we want, right? right? Mm-hmm. So if if Audius really starts taking off, like we have the knowledge and mindset to be able to promote you guys on any platform. Yeah. So we we don't have to give you guys bias information right. because really doesn't matter <laughs> to us like we want you guys to go to the best platform for you mm-hmm. so that like you guys can make the the most out of your career you can make more money you can yeah. do more have more impact 
Um, so like, we don't have to tell you to go to Spotify if we don't think that's Facts. where you should spend the most of your money. Facts. Uh, if we start to see that audio monthly, uh, users are going up and up and up mm -hmm. uh we're going to advise more and more and more like hey you guys go to audio uh audius um maybe invest in some audio if that's what you want to do mm -hmm. and then um we have the capabilities to to push the traffic anywhere mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you guys know that we're not giving you some some bad information uh on this but i'm I mean, I'm not, I'm not crazy. Yeah. Long term about Spotify. The one smart thing I think they're doing is with the podcast. Um, they're doing some exclusive deals there. Mm -hmm. uh, they're they're also having like a, an update with the podcast emails, which we'll talk about in a separate episode. Um, so that's something that I do think is smart. Yeah. Uh, but there's. There's a lot that they can work on. We'll see what they do. Yeah, I'll say we'll see what they do over the next year or two with the, with everything coming up in crypto and all of that. So we'll see. Yeah. We'll see what they do. Uh, keep keep your eyes on it, guys. That's what I'll say. Yes, indeed.